What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out Lumion's brand new renderer that actually works inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Lumion View is a brand new real-time renderer that actually works inside of SketchUp. So it's pretty lightweight and it allows you to actually create your renders without leaving SketchUp at any point. And so the way that it works is you have your model and you install Lumion View and once you've saved it, there's an option right here for start Lumion View. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up a window right here. Now, one thing I want to note about this is this is a paid product placement by Lumion. So I am partnering with them in order to get the word out about Lumion View. Um, this is something that I would have talked about anyway, because I like to talk about developments in this space. And so the cool thing about Lumion View is it's doing a real time rendering directly inside of SketchUp. So you can probably see it a little bit better if I do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide my tray, but notice how I've got a side by side right here of my model on the left-hand side and the rendered view on the right-hand side. Okay, and so from a navigation standpoint, by default, Lumion View is set to sync to your camera inside of SketchUp itself. So notice how as I orbit around inside of SketchUp, um, it's going to orbit around inside of Lumion View like this. Now, one thing that you can do though is say that you wanted this, let's say we wanted to work on this from a different standpoint. So let's say we wanted Lumion View to be up, but you wanted it on top of your screen. What you can do instead is you can click on the button right here to pin this to the top. Notice how when we pin this to the top, um, what it's going to do is it's going to stay on top even though we're navigating around inside of SketchUp. The other piece of that is you can also disable camera sync. So if I click in here and disable the camera sync, now if I fly around in SketchUp and make changes or adjustments or anything like that, um, you can do that over here without the camera updating in Lumion View. Now the other things you can also navigate around in Lumion View. So the way that you do this is you use the W, A, S, and D keys in order to move forward, back, left, and right. You use the Q and the E to move up and down. You can also, if you click and hold the right mouse button and drag, like this, you can look around inside of your scene, right? So I can like fly through here, I can go into the space if I wanna do that, other things like that. So you can see how navigation is pretty easy um, inside of Lumion View. A lot of the time though, I am kind of using the SketchUp view in order to drive this. Um, and I'll usually have this on another monitor is what I'll usually do. But then if you ever wanna bring the camera sync back, all you have to do is just click on the button right here to enable camera sync and then just make a move inside of SketchUp and your camera will adjust over here. You do also have your typical camera views if you ever want them. So like top down or whatever, you can click and drag in this little box right here if you wanna do that. But then you can also unpin it just by clicking on this button right here. And so one of the cool things about Lumion View is it's working directly in SketchUp and you can see I haven't adjusted any of these materials. So they're kind of reflective in here. But if I replace some of these materials using TomTom's Material Replacer, these materials are materials that are inside of SketchUp itself in the new PBR materials. So if I replace this brick right here, it's going to replace the brick over here like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop out a tray and we're gonna add just the paint bucket tool right here. So the cool thing about this is it aligns with the materials inside of SketchUp itself. So if I go in and I adjust this brick material right here, notice how I don't have to do any material adjustment um, inside of Lumion itself. I can just use the material properties that are already inside of SketchUp. And so you can see how that's going to that's going to update in real time over here on the right hand side like this. So this uses the PBR maps that are already loaded into SketchUp in order to make the materials more realistic in Lumion View. And so let's say that we were to go ahead and set up a new material for this metal right here. And a lot of the time what my workflow is for this, because this is all grouped, is I'll just put it on a little box, which I can then delete. But I'm going to add a new metal material because I'm going to use material replacer in order to replace the materials. But we'll go ahead and set up a metal material right here. And we'll add the maps in. So we'll add the normal map. We'll add the roughness map. And we'll add the ambient occlusion. But now this material 
It was a PBR material. And notice how you can really see the way that material is interacting with the light over here in Lumion View right here. And it looks really good. But then what we can do is we can use Material Replacer in order to replace this material with this material. But notice how this integrates pretty seamlessly with the way that SketchUp works right now. I don't know that you can currently take your Lumion View file and send it over to Lumion. So you can't currently use this in order to set that up, but I would be willing to bet that that's probably the end goal, is that you can actually set up your materials over here in SketchUp and then bring them directly into Lumion. Um, I can't really verify that, but that's my assumption is probably going to be the end goal right now. But in addition to having the ability to set up your PBR materials, you've also got the ability to do artificial lights. And so the way that that works is first off the environment inside of Lumion. So I'm going to zoom back out right here. The environment settings in Lumion are right here and you can use this in order to set the height of the sun, the direction of the sun, other things like that. Currently at the moment, this doesn't link to that SketchUp version, but, um, and you probably haven't seen this before actually, Lumion now has a product roadmap um, that's out there where you can submit new ideas um, and it's they're going to tell you exactly what they're working on so they've got their released things right here they've got the things that they're currently um, doing active research on that they might add they've got an under consideration um, and then they've also got an in development but you can see how in the in development they're developing syncing the light from your sketchup model to lumion view they just don't have it in there yet um, they're also working on clouds in the background right now um, they don't have that but it's something that they are working on but you can see how you can use this in order to either do a daytime scene or a nighttime scene like this and so one of the cool things about this, though, is unlike the current SketchUp renderer, Lumion View already has the ability to add lights. So let's say I wanted to add a line light, for example, if I click on Create right here, and so I can drop that in here, and that's going to light my scene. And I can adjust things like the intensity right here. Now, the other thing about this that's cool is if I pop up my paint bucket tool right here, and I paint this, and we pick a color. So let's go pick like an orangish or yellowish light color right here and apply it to this object. Notice how that changes the color of the light that's being applied in here. So no matter what color you have in here, um, this is going to show up. And then the other thing you can do is let's say that I was to draw a circle right here and I'll just push pull this object out like this, but you can also set up that material so that it is emissive. So if I click in here, right, to my Lumion materials, notice how with the object or the material I have selected is going to pop up in the material properties right here. But if I bump up the emissive strength, what that's going to do, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to hide this light for a second, just so you can see the emissive strength. Um, and I'm actually going to apply this to that surface. But notice how if I make this emissive right here, you can actually make things emit light inside of Lumion view. So if I do an edit unhide all bring that light back like this and i would probably drop this down below this object right here but notice how now you're able to light this scene um, directly inside of lumion view which is significantly better than the current version of sketchup which doesn't have any artificial lights now another cool thing that they have inside of this is if you let's go ahead and make this full screen if you click in here and go to your visual styles you have a render or a realistic render style where you can enable edges or if you don't want to do that, you can hop into this conceptual style right here, and you can actually use this in order to render in kind of a black and white mode, or you can make it look like a wood model or a styrofoam model or a glossy model right here. And you can toggle those edges on and off just depending on what you're trying to do. But notice how as I make this adjustment right here, the shadows are going to show up on this, and you can use this to do really quick like conceptual style renderings inside of SketchUp, which is also pretty cool. And so I will note setting up lights 
with something like this directly in SketchUp is significantly easier than doing it in something like Lumion, just because this is designed to be a little bit more of a precision tool. So it allows me to add those artificial lights and drop them into a scene really quickly and light the scene. So I actually really like lighting with this tool because I can bring in like a spotlight or something like that, but then I can use the um, array tools like the move tool in copy mode or something like that in order to copy those lights really quickly inside of the scene um, without having to go into another program with a different user interface and all of that. You can actually adjust these items directly in SketchUp. And so now if I have this selected and I adjust that angle, notice how those are all components. So when I make that change, those lights are going to change and adjust in your scene like this. So by taking these and coupling them together with an emissive material on these, you could create some really realistic looking lights. Now let's take a look at an interior model. And so again, I haven't done a ton of working work setting this up. I've basically swapped in a couple materials and swapped in just some emissive lights in here like this. But one of the cool things about this is notice how this is actually giving me reflections off of the light. So another thing the current SketchUp renderer can't do is give us real reflections, but this can actually go in and give us those full-on reflections directly inside of Lumion View without you ever having to go over into Lumion itself. And so things like your field of view will also adjust along with SketchUp right here. So I'm just using the zoom tool in order to set up the field of view. So this is a super fast way to generate renders um, inside of SketchUp. One thing to note about this is notice how we've got a little bit of a dark scene in here. Well, again, because you have those artificial lights, what you can do is you can actually drop an area light in over here. So I'm just going to click on create and we'll go ahead and we'll rotate this, move it up. But notice how if you're really light, in this scene and you need to add some additional light over here, this is gonna give you the ability to throw light into the scene using that area light on the other side. So you can actually light this using the tools inside of Lumion View and the results look really good. And then once you're done, and again, I've not done a ton of work setting this up over here, so I just set this scene up fairly quickly. But once you're done, you can take this and you can just render it to a file. So right now, these are your options. You've got your current resolution, HD and 4K. So in this case, I'm gonna render this to HD. And this is gonna do a preview render right here, and this is gonna drop this in here. And if I open that folder and open the image, your image is going to look like this. So this actually looks really good, right? There, It's denoised, um, so it got rid of the noise that was in the background, and I did very little work setting this up. So I'm actually, pretty impressed with the quality of images I'm seeing coming out of Lumion View for the amount of work that I'm having to put in. And obviously there's some things I could fix like wood grain directions and things like that. But for this video, this should give you an idea of the way that it works. Okay, so a couple thoughts on this tool. First off, the results are better than I expected them to be. So playing around, especially with the interiors, with reflections and all of that, they're actually really good and I really like what this is spitting out for me. I like that it live updates as I make changes inside of SketchUp. So from that standpoint, very cool. Uh, couple other things. So if they ever get this to a point where it takes those materials and actually exports them to Lumion, and you can use this as kind of a go-between to set up your materials, but also to do these quick renders, I think that could be really awesome. Um, something that would really work well in your workflow. Now, um, a couple downsides. So the first is you don't have access to the Lumion material library. You don't have access to the, um, you don't have access to the Lumion model library. And obviously that's one of the kind of downsides um, to trying to do this all in SketchUp is sometimes those models aren't necessarily quite there from a rendering standpoint. So I think that's where that kind of like next step to Lumion would still be important. But what I like about this is instead of you trying to set up those lights over in Lumion, you can do them directly in SketchUp, which is massively helpful to me because I, I feel like setting them up in Lumion can be a little bit clunky, but if I make changes here and I just move those artificial lights around inside of SketchUp, then um, that makes that a lot easier. Another thing to note is this is currently included with a Lumion Pro 
license. So if you're a Lumion Pro user, then you get access to Lumion View. I'm not sure where this product sits in the future, so I'll be interested to see kind of what long-term licensing looks like since this is still in early access, um, which is kind of included for Lumion Pro subscribers, but I'll be interested to see kind of what the options are for something like this in the future. The other thing I'm wondering about, and maybe you can give me some feedback as well, is kind of where this fits in on people's workflow, right? Does this replace a more full-on rendering engine? Does it give you good enough results um, or is it something that you use to set things up for Lumion Pro? I'd just be interested to hear what you think about that in the comments down below. So where do you think something like this fits in? Because that's kind of the big question that I have. Originally, I was like, well, I don't really need a lightweight renderer in SketchUp if I have Lumion Pro. But looking at these results, um, a lot of the time, yeah, this would probably be good enough, actually. So I'd be interested to see what you think in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.